Now, a man whose life was dedicated to the literary enrichment of not only Ghanaians but Africans, a man in whose dictionary mediocrity didn't exist, a man whose writings were dynamic and animated as his oral presentations. These were some of the words contained in tributes paid by former President John, Jerry John Rawlins to late renowned Ghanaian poet Professor Atukwe Okai, who was laid to rest at the military cemetery here in Accra. The state funeral and burial service for the distinguished poet, scholar, cu cultural activist and author at the Accra International Conference Center this morning saw President Akufuado, former President Mahama and President Wallens and other dignitaries in attendance. His widow, Beatrice Atukwe Okai, has been sharing some fond memories in this tribute. Mie mie la nijrawa akepo mi mi na yenwe ye ye no mi aere mi maje nyongo yi Thank you. This was the last song we sang with Atukwe on the eve of his departure. So thank you very much. We know he's resting peacefully with the Lord. It is with heavy heart that I write about my dear darling husband, Atukwe, in the past tense. A very intelligent, elegant, talented gentleman, as my colleague and I were exiting, there appeared in the doorway this tall, handsome, walking stick, wielding gentleman. Another attendee who happened to know him discovered my surname and promptly insisted on introducing us. During the brief introduction, I realized that the walking stick gentleman's middle name happens to form part of my last name, Atukwefio. Our mutual friend took both of our hands and put them together, pronouncing that we were destined to be a couple. You were so many things to many people, but for me, you were simply the gorgeous, talented, God-fearing, responsible man I gave my heart to. You faithfully stood by me during my major surgery, never missing any of my physiotherapy appointments after my surgery. You were visibly happy for me when you realized I could walk again without difficulty. My one consolation is that you went peacefully you were so many things to so many people, but for me and the girls, you will forever live in our hearts as the kindest, hearted, humane, peaceful, and gentle soul that ever trod this earth. You were hardworking, principled, honest, thoughtful, gracious. Simplicity was your middle name. Let all the hand blowers of Gambaga blow your hand. Let all the soothsayers of Esiama suit your sorrows. Let the, rail, let the railways of Agbogloshi toot your horn. All the fellows of Accra High School say, Suri. In Moscow, they are painting the square red. True to Kwabenya, all the squirrels are saying, Ayeko, out the hills of Legon, the tall mahogany trees are bowing to you. All the phantom from of African cities are booming. Fare thee well, my true friend. I will miss your tete tetes I will miss you. Widow of Atukwe Okai, there, his four daughters described him in a powerful tribute as a true African amidst a poetry recital to honor his memory. Growing up with you as our father was a joy and a blessing. We grew up realizing that we had been born to a special man who carried with him the weight of Africa's challenges. Your love for history and the world architecturally gently shaped our worldview and made us embrace your admonition that we should always challenge the status quo. Your love for us earned you such names as Atukwe Dada, Hype Master, Bode or Bra, and Bra. You were so proud of us and made it a point to celebrate all our achievements at every opportunity. You may have gone ahead of us, 
but you've left us with so many memories to last us several lifetimes. Truly, this is a credit to how much life you packed into your 77 years here on Earth, and it will be such a great reunion when we finally meet in the presence of our Almighty Father. Atukwe Dada, Dada, Da, Bode Shuande. Your powerful voice will reverberate throughout the ages. Your footsteps, larger than life, are imprinted in the sands of time. Your life shall remain a sterling example for generations to come. My brothers, my people, my brothers, Fonton from, Fonton from, I am Fonton from, listen, listen, Fonton from, Fonton from, of you the living, I am the Fonton from, listen, Fonton from, Fonton from, of your great sires, I was the Fonton from, listen. How best can you remember your father when he was a poet? Children of Professor Tukwe Oka in there. Well, some dignitaries have also been highlighting lessons that can be drawn from the life of the late Professor Tukwe Oka. A bundle of energy, a bundle of creative energy, and anything that he settles on as something he has to do, he pours his whole being, his whole energy into it. It is difficult for him to say no, this cannot be done. And his creative gifts were abundant. And he used them abundantly for all of us to enjoy. It, this is um, a nationalist, God-fearing, die in the wool, African, Pan-Africanist, and a person who does everything with precision. Here is a person who wants to always motivate others. He made me who I am. And for me, if all persons were like him, there would have been peace on this earth. He has no patience for laziness and for attitudes that fear doing things. The, the last conversations we had then for about a month, I wasn't hearing of him, was about indiscipline. Vladimir Enchi Danso, the Professor Tukwe Okain died at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital on 13th July 2018 following a short illness. Until his death, he was the Secretary General of the Pan-African Writers Association of Ghana. He won a great number of honors, both locally and internationally, during his illustrious career and was in June 2007 awarded the National Award of Member of the Member of the Order of the Volta. 